Well, nights like these are just what you hope for as a spectator. A warm welcome. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very excited to be able to bring you live action from Major League Soccer coming right up. It's the Colorado Rapids, and they take on the Portland Timbers. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. This is the lineup for the home team. Well, 3 5 2 is a good system only if you have top class wing backs because they have such a key role. They have to cover the whole length of the field, both with and without the ball. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough for the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. Thank you for joining us. Now get ready for a great match. And now they get the ball rolling. Keegan Rosenberry. Ronan with it. Well, is it going to end up being productive for them? And it might be. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Promising sequence. Can he find the angle? A goal in the early stages. Precisely what they had been planning. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post. But I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Jonathan Lewis. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Can he deliver it with accuracy? Oh, off the line! Well, that was quality, last ditch defending. He must finish. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Well, as you can see, it wasn't even close, was it? No debate about that one. And now the delivery. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. He's trying to create something, and he's missed it. Good heavens. Well, that's a big miss. That should have been the equaliser. Promising looking attack. A glorious chance. Well, it might still work out for them. 
And in the end, no damage done. Well, that save has kept them in this game. They now need to create one or two chances of their own. Stephen Chippers, that's Stephen Chippers. Please now can they make something happen? That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. Well, the away side haven't bossed the possession, as you can see, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Difficult to stop him. But really sticking to their task defensively. It's with Moreno. Good visualisation and execution. Jaroslav Niesgoda. Evander. Paredes. Timely intervention. Jonathan Lewis. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And so it is, the first half story has been written. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Well, underway once more, and it's going to be fascinating to see what developments occur in the second half. He could pick out a teammate. In position. Oh, a tremendous block. And the referee has given the corner. So maybe scope here for them to add to their lead. They will now make use of their substitutes bench. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, no end product. Opportunity, and a goal it is. They lead by two now. Fully deserves. Well, just look at his movement. He knows exactly how to find space, and it's also a tidy finish. That's a nice goal. here and the ball is moving again Number 21 Diego Chara Ronan with it Kevin Cabral and can they prize them open now and with that the attack fizzles out and they are committed to making the substitution here for Portland Timbers coming off the pitch and over it comes well, they fail to get it away properly entering the match number 33 Luis Maviala opportunity for them to get back into the game substitution time it is here And they continue to advance, and a lot of options here. Diego Chara. Could be a goal! Another one! It's turning into an absolute demolition job.
Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Well, it has been one-sided, but they deserve the plaudits for the fact that they've kept going and going. Evander. Moreno in possession. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Sam Nicholson. Barrios. Is it going to be? And it's come off the keeper. And I think the threat has been averted. Well, approaching full time, and this is wearing the look of mission Derek, impossible. Very big moment, this. Firing it towards goal. An alert piece of defending. And we've entered the final five minutes. Good-looking sequence. And still pressing. Chance, maybe. And in the end, no damage done. And that is the end of the game. It goes into the history books as a home defeat. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, there's a good reason why we're highlighting him. Really dominant in attack in this game, Stuart. Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. Such a good player.